Well, the pandemic has put a hold on a lot of things, including dating in person. <laughs> yeah, so to meet new people, singles are heading to dating apps and websites, trading a restaurant date for a Zoom call. Online dating expert Julie Spira is here with us to talk about dating during quarantine with dating apps. Julie, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, dating is a hot topic in the pandemic. Even though originally it was put on hold and people pushed the pause button, not anymore. You know, dating is hard enough as it yeah. is. Have you seen more people really turning to these dating apps during this time? Um, I have. As a matter of fact, the numbers have really skyrocketed. And I, I have an ongoing poll on my site, Dating in the Age of COVID-19. And the question was, how has dating, uh, how has COVID-19 affected your dating life? And the majority, 83% said they're looking for a meaningful relationship more than ever, less than 3% looking to hook up. So how does this work? Uh, they start with a Zoom meeting and like, what's your suggestion how this works to, to date during the pandemic? Well, we do go in stages, and okay. I am a big fan of virtual dating. Um, I created something called the dress rehearsal, where I actually go on a mock date with people to get them ready for their date. I'm checking their lighting, checking what they're wearing. As you can see, I'm wearing red, red, red pops on a video date. And we start slowly. We start with a first date being just a, a virtual drink date. So bring something bubbly, put on something that you would wear if you were going to meet them for happy hour, and do come with a happy face. <laughs> How can people stay safe if they do choose to finally make that next step and meet in person? Well, right now, I'm not recommending anybody meet in person. I, I believe that you're better off safe at home and having virtual dates and doing fun things for each other, sending food deliveries. I know some people send Venmo um, payments just so somebody can order food from their favorite restaurant. And then do things that are actually fun. Maybe take a painting class together. I know the Los Angeles Press Club has a painting class that's on Zoom that you can um, do together. And you know, start thinking about things that you might want to do when the coast is clear to meet up in person. Yeah, it can get really lonely. You know, this is a really yeah. good way, if not anything, just to make a friend as well. But there are risks involved always like there, there is. How can users make sure that the person that they're talking to is the same person as their profile pictures? Maybe a little more difficult when you don't see that person in person. And this, Daniela, this is the reason that I believe in, in virtual dates, whether you're using Skype or Zoom or FaceTime, here's an opportunity to make sure that somebody's not a catfish. If their profile photos look a certain way mm -hmm. and then you get on the date and you hop on a call and they're not recognizable, well, they're probably hiding a lot more than just old photos. All right, Julie Spire, thank you Great so advice. much for joining mm -hmm. us today. Great advice there. Thank you. And you for can find me. Julie on thank you. You can find Julie on Instagram at Julie Spira or on her website, cyberdatingexpert.com.